Hey there, as some of you might not be fully up to date on Ben 10 lore and history, I have made this video to help you understand who all of Ben 10's aliens are throughout the first four shows and what they all do. Oh, and by the way, the next video I'm uploading after this will be a video giving the entire Ben 10 history and timeline in a short amount of time. So if you don't know all the Ben 10 aliens or you want to refresh your mind on some of them, this is the video for you. After that, you can check out the My Ben 10 History video with the link in the description. Let's just jump right into it. Heat Blast. He's the guy with the fiery head. He can shoot fireballs, melt anything, and can fly on a chunk of the ground. Diamond Head. One of Ben's most experienced aliens and another classic. He's made of crystals and can change the shape of his hands and shoot sharp crystals. He can also pull out big boulders out of the ground and move them with his hands. Wild Mutt. Just a dog who can't talk or see very clearly, but has great agility and can smell things very well. He also has sharp teeth that can cut anything. Forearms, Ben's strongest alien, at least for now. If the name doesn't make it obvious, he has four arms. Grey Matter, the smartest alien, but also one of the smallest. Stinkfly, he can fly and shoot slime balls from his eyes. He also smells bad. Accelerate, Ben's fastest alien. Upgrade, he can merge into any technology and control it. This includes vehicles, computers, etc. Ripjaws, he has very sharp teeth and needs water to survive. Ghost Freak, he can control someone from the inside, turn tangible and face through things, and he has tentacles underneath his body. He escaped the Omnitrix at one point. Cannon Bolt, he can turn into a ball and roll around, very fat and clumsy, but also pretty fast. Wild Vine, he is a plant that can control other plants, can camouflage in rough situations, has black pods on his back that he can use as explosives, can regenerate any part of his body, and he can grow sharp spikes on his body if he's ever tangled in anything. It's a shame that this one didn't get used as much. Upchuck, he can eat any object and spit out energy balls that destroy things. The downside is that he is very clumsy. Eye Guy, Eye Guy has eyes all around his body, giving him a 360 view at all times, and he can shoot energy beams from his eyes. I think this one's very cool. Way big, one of, if not the most powerful alien in Ben's arsenal. He is the largest alien and one of the strongest. He can also shoot powerful cosmic rays when he crosses his arms in an L shape. Ditto, Ditto can clone himself as many times as he wants, but other than that, a pretty weak alien. Swampfire, Swampfire was the first alien that Ben transformed into in alien force, and he is awesome. He can shoot fireballs from his hands like Heat Blast, he can throw seeds on the ground to tangle people in vines, and regenerate like Wild Vine, and he can use his feet as roots and the ground to hold on if he ever needs to. One of my favorites, but a pretty smelly one, like Stinkfly. Goop. Goop is a ball of slime that can take any shape and can be damaged in fights against his body. He has an anti-gravity projector that controls him, and he can also shoot balls of acidic or adhesive slimes as projectiles. Humongosaur. Another one of Ben's strongest aliens. Just a big dinosaur that's very strong and big. Big Chill. He can fly, turn intangible at any time he wants, blow cold air to freeze anything to ice, and even face through people or objects to turn them into ice. Echo Echo. Just like Ditto, he can clone himself as many times as he wants, but with the added feature of sonic sound waves that can kill anybody with their volume. In its ultimate form, Echo Echo is one being, with little sonic speakers that do the work for him. Chromastone. He can absorb and shoot energy from his body and can survive touching electricity or other hazardous things. Jet Ray. He can fly really, really fast and shoot lasers from his eyes and tail. Alien X. Debated to be Ben's most powerful alien, Alien X can do anything you want, as long as Ben convinces these two big alien heads to agree with his requests. As you'd see in the show, their stubbornness can make this alien a lot more of a, a reliability than an asset. Brainstorm. One of Ben's smartest aliens and can shoot electricity from his brain. He also has sharp pincers. Spider Monkey, one of Ben's favorites, and it's clear why. Spider Monkey has four arms, can shoot webs from his tail or his mouth in the ultimate version, and can swing around pretty well. Nanomech, Ben's smallest alien. Lodestar, he has magnetic powers and can throw different things at each other with his magnetism. Wrath, let me tell you something, random person watching this video. Wrath is the funniest alien to ever be conceived. Water Hazard, one of the aliens from the Agagor series. You'll understand this in the Ben 10 story video in the description below and card above. He can shoot water from his palms and can also absorb the moisture from anything. Terra Spin, he's a turtle that can spin like a fan and blow anything away. Armadrillo, he can shake the ground and make earthquakes due to his screwdriver like hands. However, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Energy, he's a super hot, energy obsessed alien in a big metal suit that can shoot rays of hot energy from three holes on his head. His suit is also very hard to open or break. Amphibian. Amphibian is a water and land based alien that can electrocute anyone and turn intangible. Electrocuting when he's halfway in the water though will shock him. Fast Track. Pretty much a rip off of Accelerate. He runs fast. Chameleon. He can turn invisible, not much more than that. Clockwork. Clockwork is another of Ben's best aliens. He can slow down time quite a bit, rewind time to see something that happened in the past, travel through time as he pleases, and he can age anyone or anything into dust if he wanted to. What a cool alien, wouldn't you say? Jury Rig. He is a crazy alien that likes to break and fix things. If only he could fix this god awful character design from Ultimate Alien. 
Spitter. Spitter can spit out a gross slime that can be acidic. Eatle. Like Upchuck, Eatle can eat anything and shoot out a blast of energy from the thing on his head. Just not as cool as Upchuck, to be honest. Feedback. One of Ben's favorite aliens, he can absorb and shoot out electricity through his cords. Shock Squatch. He can shock anyone with powerful voltages if he touches them, eh? Blocks. Blocks is Lego. Yes. Gravitac. Kinda like Lodestar, but way cooler. Gravitac can turn into a planet and also levitate objects into the air and orbit him. He also looks awesome and is pretty strong. Crash Hopper. Crash Hopper can jump very far distances and is also very good at climbing. He isn't the strongest with his fists though, I can tell you that much. Ball Weevil. He may be a small guy, but when he spits out a ball of green plasma and it impacts something, you know it's gonna explode. Pesky Dust. While Pesky Dust isn't the physically strongest alien in the bunch, he can use his dust to make victims fall asleep and he can enter and manipulate their dreams to get information from them. Weirdly specific, but awesome. Mole Stash. This man's mustache is the greatest thing I've ever seen. He doesn't really have any powers, but his mustache can lift a truck. Kick and Hawk. This alien is one of Ben's best hand to hand fighters, and he sure can kick. His power is literally just kicking his enemies away with his very powerful legs. Topic. This is one of the interesting and infamous aliens. Topic's power is literally scaring his enemies with his ugly face. Even Alien Nexus can be scared by him. I know, isn't that awesome? Astrodactyl. He can fly, shoot beams from his mouth, and hit people with his energy whips. The trifecta of awesomeness. Bullfrag. He can shoot his tongue out and looks very cool. Atomics. He creates and manipulates nuclear energy to beat his foes, making him another underrated gem in the Omnitrix. Gut Rod. His power is literally farting on people. Vampire. Vampire can mind control people by shooting mind control things at their foreheads. He can also fly and create sonic explosions. He doesn't do too well in the sun though. The Worst. Ending this off on a terribly low note, we've got The Worst. While he doesn't look too good, The Worst can actually withstand any attacks and is basically an indestructible punching bag for his enemies. He doesn't serve any offense though, which can make the fight pretty awkward. And those were all of the Ben 10 aliens for your pleasure. I skipped a couple here and there because some of them were pretty dull and unimportant, but I hope you enjoyed this video nonetheless. Again, be sure to stick around for a few days until the next video, which will be a huge one. I'm basically going to give the entire story of Ben 10, the first four shows, in a quick 10 to 15 minute video, so any beginners of the show can understand it better. This video was just more of a prequel to that, so we're all on the same page going in. And if you came here from that video, I hope you enjoyed both videos. Either way, be sure to tell me your favorite Ben 10 alien in the comments down below, and be sure to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server with the link below. And if you enjoyed, please help me out and drop a like and subscribe for more uploads. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao!